March. Thank you. You're welcome. y'all november 15 2024 5 10 p.m we are going to do the lake drive this is the last of the snowstorm coming through and it's uh potentially going to be the heaviest the radar keeps on switching back and forth from pretty heavy to not so heavy so we'll see we shall see we're gonna make a couple detours on the way, but we're gonna head out towards the Big Bear Dam right now. We're gonna take a side street every now and again just to take a visual of, of neighborhoods, but once we get away from most of these cars, we can turn on the brights and get a much better view of the snow falling. And the further we go this way, the more snow we will come into. So far, it looks like we've received pretty much in most of the town about an inch of snow. And we do have potential, again, through this drive to double up what we've got or maybe see a couple more inches. So we shall see, we shall see. I wanted to take these detours just to avoid the uh, main road so we can keep our brights on most of the time, but obviously I just had to turn them off. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited for this season. You know, I've been waiting for this for a long time. And as you can see, these snowflakes are pretty big. It's what, it's what I like to see for sure. Oh, it's so pretty out here, man. It really is. guys as we get closer to the Big Bear Dam that is where we are going to see more snow for those of you who come up here and are wondering where you'll find the most snow you're gonna want to either try to find a place to stay as close to the dam as you can in between the village and the dam or in Upper Moon Ridge those will be your your best spots for the most snow and I'm, I'm telling you guys it's a significant difference just those areas compared to the rest of town. It, it's almost twice as much snow there. So let's do this. Don't forget, go to bigbearweatherandmore.com to show some love to the channel. Get yourself some killer merchandise to, uh, to wear with pride. Oh yeah, it's start, starting to really pick up now. This is fantastic. And also, I'm just trying to keep on preparing you guys. Once we get closer to the ski resorts opening, there's these couple uh, ski and snowboard rental shops right up here on the left-hand side called Get Boards. They are amazing, as always. I, I tell you guys, the staff is phenomenal. They've got incredible products, great prices, and they'll keep you safe. There's one of the Get Boards shops right there. I always talk about them because he's an angel and he deserves all the business in the world. Big Bear Smoking Babe. Here's the other get boards. So one of those is the snowboard shop and the other one is the ski shop.
last year he offered me for you guys if you said that I sent you he was he uh, wax your skis and snowboards for free which is a, a great deal usually that's like 25 to 40 dollars is what a lot of people will, will charge for that um, I'm not telling you guys that he's gonna do that this season I, I I can't guess but I'll ask him and when I find out I will let you guys know on these videos if if he's gonna have any extra special offers but again very deserving owner his name's Tony just a super neat guy and uh, yeah I like to support the companies up here who really care about the tourists because it's you guys who make this town go without you guys none of us get to live here and I never ever ever take that for granted yeah here we go into the beautiful village telling me that you're on your way up here or already up here now and uh, I just hope you guys are having a good time enjoying the snow or about to have a good time just get here safely those of you who haven't made it yet don't be in a hurry to get up here just get up here and have a blast when you get here at Big Bear Village. It is a blue green resorts hotel and it is pretty spectacular. It's the nicest, it's the highest uh, quality or nicest hotel up here. Um, I think it's a, a four star hotel. It's really terrific. I just posted a video a couple days ago or yeah, probably about a week ago staying there. So I hope you guys check that out. And if you want to see their three bedroom room and their presidential suite, go back to the video and the lodging that I did a year ago at that same place. The three bedroom was my favorite place. We didn't stay in the presidential because it was really expensive, but the three bedroom, we got such a good deal on it. I, I had to jump on it. So, so we stayed three nights in the three bedroom. It, it's like, living in a mansion. It's so amazing. But yeah, don't forget guys, for lodging information, I do have a whole bunch of hotels and stuff that I've stayed at up here and I record every aspect of them so you guys can see what to expect before you get up here. So, you know, I don't ever want you guys to, to come up here and be disappointed and feel like you wasted money. So that's why I have those videos posted. So you can see before you check in.
bunch of people coming into town right now. As you can see, that's this flow coming towards us here. These are all people who drove up Highway 18 the whole entire length because sadly the 330 is closed right now. It should be open probably between the 20th and the 1st of December. I think they originally, or not originally, but a couple weeks ago stated the 22nd or something like that. But I've been hearing some mixed things about it, so I'm not too certain about that. But yeah, let's enjoy the cruise around the lake. As I said, I'll try to shut up as much as I can. I really suffer with uh, the gift of gab, so I'll do my best. Let's just enjoy a snowy drive in the mountains. snowiest part of the valley going through this area all the way to the dam this is where you will typically get the most snow again upper moon ridge gets a ton of snow but for the 6750 foot level this area is the snowiest See, they look like they got another inch over here.
definitely getting a steady light snow here. definitely got more snow over here than uh, if you guys look at at my live feed going right now there's a little bit more snow over here than there is at my place but we are not about that life right now. Looks like on the live feed it's snowing pretty good at my place. I don't know if you guys can really tell. But yeah, we're about to enter the town of Fawnskin. This is Highway 38, AKA North Shore.
right here on the right hand side. We're driving right along the lake. I'm gonna roll down the passenger side window so I can at least just point the camera out that way. All those lights in the distance, that's the other side of the lake. to show you guys a term that I've coined called the Big Bear Snow Rule. But with this little bit of snow, it, 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 it's, it's not going to make a huge difference, but you'll still be able to tell. The Big Bear Snow Rule means that this, this side of town and over by the dam, as I said, gets the most amount of snow. And just seven and a half miles down the valley hardly gets any snow. Same elevation, everything, same. But they hardly get any snow. If there's a foot of snow over here, there might be two inches over there. So tomorrow, very early before any of the snow melts, I will be doing the, the aftermath video and I'll be doing the whole entire valley drive. So this will be included, but we will be hitting up Baldwin Lake as well and doing that whole area. Shadow fans, we're going to be going into their domicile right now. Those lights that you just saw on the top of the mountain, those are the lights at Snow Summit. We'll get a, a much better view once we get further down around the lake. But yeah, we're entering the, the eagle habitat right now where our world famous Jackie and Shadow live. They're in one of these trees up here on the left hand side. I don't know which one. I haven't really looked into it that much, but I do love those little rascals. They are so cute. They are such a, a good representatives of this town for sure. I wish we had a bear couple also. Here we go, the snow's starting to come down even more. I like, I like it a lot. All right, we have entered fawn skin.
things about snow is turning all the roads completely white. I hope you didn't blink, you guys, because we are we just went through downtown Fonskin and we're already out. big enough ditch to stall your car in there but yeah that's the only time I've had any issue in the snow up here really I've had quite a few close calls with other people who have lost control but knock on wood I've been pretty fortunate and I've driven in every single snowstorm that we've had up here since I've lived here for 10 years wow it's coming down pretty good now
bad this isn't the biggest sell because it's not going to last too long. It's this kind of snow that would really accumulate quickly. If we could just maintain it. the other side of the lake. That's Snow Summit Ski Resort right there. So darn cool. Woo. Thank you Mother Nature for allowing me to time this perfectly. So we're back at Stanfield Cutoff. This is the end of the lake. But I'm going to point the camera over the lake for this stretch of lake right here. to the end of this video and it's snowing really good right now hope you guys enjoyed the cruise around the lake I tried not to talk as much thank you guys again for everything please hit that like and subscribe button I put myself out there in dangerous positions or situations and uh, I put a lot into this I'd really appreciate it it would really help me a lot there's snow summit again just beautiful. And again, BigBearWeatherandMore.com. Thank you guys.
guys for everything, for all the love. Thanks for all the beautiful comments. Can't wait to get the comments from this video. have any questions about anything up here don't hesitate to ask i'm always here to help i'll talk to you guys later see you tomorrow the live feed will still be going overnight